Hey guys, it's Jessica from Crafting and Stampin.blogspot.com and I checked in a few days ago and showed you how to create uh, the candy box on the silhouette cameo from the SVG cuts. I showed you how to delete out the heart because the box came from the, can um, the Love Me Do set and I showed you how to input a shamrock in. So I had someone email me and ask me if I could show you how to do it on the tags, bags, boxes, and more, uh, too. So I wanted to show you on my Gypsy how I did it. So I'm just going to actually start up a new layer because I still want to keep the ones that I have. So what I did was I went down to my, uh, my overlay, and I need to take my shift lock off, and I want this image. Whoops, that's not the one I want. Hello. Okay, that's the candy box. So I know already from doing this that I want this to be 4.1 inches. And I can tell you that in the book it's going to tell you you need it to be at least 3 and a half inches. Now I myself am weird and I like mine to be up and down. So I'm going to move it at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and I want to make two of them, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to replicate it or duplicate it. Okay, now I know, oops, I need to move that up a little bit. Okay, hey Baba, I need you to be a little quiet, pal. Okay, so I know that in my Doodle Charms, there is an image um, the Easter image that I want. So I'm going to go to Doodle Charms. There it is. Okay, and right there is the Easter Bunny, right there is the basket. The only thing is, is I actually want the shadow. So let's get rid of that. Now, uh, you know what you have to do real quick first? Go back to your overlay to your mat and put the cursor right in the middle because you don't want it to show up somewhere where you can't move it. So let's pick an Easter head. Let's pick a basket. Or I'm sorry, a bunny head and a basket. And let's get rid of the one. We don't need both of them. Go back to your mat. Okay. Let's move this one over a little bit so we have some room to move here. Let's move that over a little. Ooh, too far. Okay, so I want my guys to be about. Well, first of all, let's get them. Let's deselect them. We don't want them grouped together. Let's get one. Let's make it like 1.7. Nah. Let's see. Mm, 1.5 is good. Yeah, let's go with 1.5. Let's do the same thing with the basket. Okay, let's get them in the middle. Now, if you were to go and look at your cut right now, it doesn't look right. It looks like it'll cut, but believe me, it's not going to. You have to go in and do a little work here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to select that, your basket, you're going to select the group button, and then you're going to come back and group the basket or the candy box and then hit the ungroup button and then you have it all together. Now what else you want to do is you want to come in and select the weld button. And there you go. If it's in red it's all going to cut. So now let's do the same thing. Highlight your image, hit the group button, hit the candy box, hit the button again, select it all, hit your weld button, there you go. And there's our image. Now you need to score this. So with the new scoring tool, what you're going to do is, how I did it was, I kept my background mat lit up. You see the eye up here? If you hit the eye, it turns it off. If you hit the eye, it turns back on. So go back in, get the tag bag boxes and more. Any day. And where's it at? I think I just passed it. There we go. Select that. And if you hit your shift lock button, it's going to show your score lines. Now, what I want to do is right off the bat, I'm going to 
turn it to my 90 degrees and move it over and then I know I had I made the original one be 4.10 okay so what I want to do is I want to line it up to where I know there needs to be score lines now think about a box you know you need to have a base you know you need to be able to turn you need to be able to fold it so what I did was hold on one second I need to adjust myself here and adjust the camera because I don't know if you can see this it's a little difficult to see so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna zoom in okay so I'm gonna pull this right down to here I need to zoom down a little more let's see that's what I want you see that I want my base my lines are perfect I don't want to touch anything else now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna bring it right on over and I'm gonna line it up the exact same way so zoom in because if you don't zoom in you're not gonna be able to get it right and you're gonna line it up and there you go that's perfect also so let's jump back and now let's bring up our layers so I'm gonna lift you up and I'm gonna show you my machine okay now I already have oops busting everything up here I already have my paper loaded in my machine which you are not really gonna be able to see but it's already loaded I already have my cutting blade in I have it set at a at the, the blade pressure is a three I'm gonna come back up here I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this because I'm kind of far away from it now. I'm gonna hit the cut button. I want my speed to be at five. I know my machine and the kind of cardstock I'm using. I want my pressure to be at five because it's thicker cardstock. I'm gonna hit cut. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna suck it in. Ooh, it's going out of focus. And it's gonna cut. Now, something very important. If you are using your gypsy, do not, and I'm going to say it again, do not unload paper. When it is done, you're going to have to. Now, if you don't have the scoring blade, it's fine. You don't need to worry. I do have the scoring blade, and because I bought it, I'd really rather not waste my money, even though I figured it out afterward. I'm going to change out my scoring blade but you don't need to do that if you don't have the scoring blade what you can do is you can change your blade depth to a one on your machine and you can um, hmm yeah you can put your blade depth to a one and you can the blade to a one and do your depth at a or your pressure rather do it at like a two and that'll work well also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to my gypsy and I'm just gonna hit return to design okay and then I'm gonna come back over to here to my blade housing and I'm gonna pop my blade out and I'm gonna put my scoring blade in I don't know it's gonna have to wait right now though Brandon don't back talk me please now I have my blade is on a six and I'm gonna go back to my design now okay and I'm gonna hit cut and see I did not take the I did not take the paper out at all I'm gonna leave everything at five five and five and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the cut button and what it's gonna do is, is it's just gonna do the pressure. It's gonna go in and just make score lines. Now it's a little hard to see. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hold on, pal. Okay, bubble. Okay, guys, sorry. I don't know how to pause on this, so you kind of just have to watch the, 
the process happen, which it's a little difficult to see. You really can't because how dark it is in the corner where I cut at. Um, and it keeps going in and out of focus, which I guess it's because it's moving. But anywho, now, now that it's all done and I can see that it definitely scored, um, I am going to unload my mat. And I need to set you back up onto my table. Go my little area here. Okay. Now, don't pay any mind to that stuff. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna bring your mat over, okay? Oops, there we go, now you guys can see. Are we going in and out of focus here? Okay, good, doesn't look like it. So, oh my God, this did such a great job scoring and cutting. Okay, you're gonna carefully take it off your mat. Okay. Look how cute. Just look at that. Now, keep the inside of your box because I have an idea for that. Even though it cut it out, it's okay. Cut out the center and that may not have been initially what we wanted, but it's okay. Um, so we're gonna take them both out, just gently, gently. It cut perfect, it scored perfect. Okay, we're only gonna do one at a time right now. So, take your score tool and you can see where it did the lines and you're just gonna go right on over them, okay? This is awesome. Now, you might have asked, yourself. Jess, you cut a hole in the center of my box. How's candy going to fit in there? Well, you know all the little plastic casings that we get with our cartridges? These things? Save them. We're going to cut it out and we're going to put it right behind there. See? So cute. Okay. So, just going to continue. Brandon. We're going to continue. Our score lines. my bub. He wants to be up in my craft room with me. He likes to keep Mama company. Yeah, I do, Mama. Mm-hmm. I know you do, Bubba. Mama. Yeah, Bub. Now I don't jump out of the bubble. Oh, okay. Okay, pal. Mommy's got to finish working, okay? So we officially have everything all scored up, all ready to go. Okay. I am not entirely sure why they had us do some of these lines, but that's okay because you're gonna see that they give you a book with instructions. So now that we have this all done, I am gonna actually pause you because I need to make sure I stay under 15 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a quick pause and I will join right back in and we'll continue right on where we left off. Okay. Thanks. Stay tuned for part two. Get back in focus here. There we go.